We start by factoring 4a squared minus 21b cubed plus 6ab minus 14ab squared, and we're trying to factor this by grouping. So we group the first two terms together and the last two terms together. From the first two terms, we see that we don't really have anything in common, so we can just factor out a 1. Dividing 4a squared by 1 will change nothing, so you'll just have 4a squared left inside. And then dividing negative 21b cubed by 1 will also change nothing, so we're just left with the same term again. For the last two terms, we see that there is a GCF of 2ab. So factoring that out and dividing 6ab by 2ab, we get 3. And then negative 14ab squared divided by 7ab gives us negative 7b. Now the problem with this stage of the problem is that the binomials really don't match. We're not just off by signs, we don't even have the same binomial. Whenever we run into this, we have to abandon this approach and rearrange the problem by taking the second term in the question and moving it all the way to the end. So rewriting or rearranging this problem as 4a squared we move this term all the way to the end, so the next term will be 6ab minus 14ab squared, and then finally minus 21b cubed. This rearrangement may result in a factorization or it may not, but we're always required to try it if the binomials are just completely different. Now we basically are back to square one. We start by finding the GCF of the first two terms, which is 2a. We divide each of the terms by the GCF, which gives us 2a from 4a squared divided by 2a. And then from 6ab divided by 2a, we'll get 3b. From these last two terms, we see that we can factor out a 7b squared. Doing that will give us a negative 2a on the inside, because we can divide negative 14ab squared by 7b squared to get negative 2a. And then similarly, negative 21b cubed divided by 7b cubed is going to give us negative 3b. The binomials still don't match, but we're one step closer to getting there. Now we can see, like in the previous problems, we're just off by signs. The 2a needs to be positive and the 3b needs to be positive. All the signs are flipped. So instead of factoring out a positive 7b, what happens if we factor out a negative 7b? Uh, sorry, a negative 7b squared. Well then, 14ab squared divided by negative 7b squared will give us a 2a, and then negative 21b cubed divided by negative 7b squared will give us a 3b. Now we see that the binomials do indeed match. We do have 2a plus 3b being the same in both terms. We can factor that term out as the GCF, and then when we divide this first term by it, we get just 2a, and then when we divide this second large term by it, we left with negative 7b squared. 